back from the locker rooms here a bit early. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. They'll look to throw here. This one caught, it's the tight end Hawkinson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. On the give, this is their fullback. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Second down and five. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it. For and he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. It's the fullback. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. But they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, 
I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. A give to the fullback on the dive. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And that's a nice gain by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. And now a carry here for their fullback. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll try and run with their fullback. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Working with second and five now. Here's a give up the middle. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Now a handoff running through the middle, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 122 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings have got it on cruise control. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards is the pickup, first down New Orleans. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans. Rolling along here in the third quarter. Second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Hopkins. And a good pickup there. He gets about six up to midfield. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. First down, Hal to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Peters. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Faking the handoff, Howell. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Up the middle they go. It's Hopkins, and he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. So the completion good for six yards. 